Hey everybody, today on Adam's Workshop, I'm going to be building a pen stand. Now the reason why is because I'm trying to get better at photography, and so I like doing a lot of pen and pencil turning projects, so I want to be able to have a nice little stand to be able to display them when I take pictures. So if there's something you're interested in, then follow along with me as I make it today on Adam's Workshop. All right, now we've got our template here, and we've got the half inch thick piece of walnut that we're going to use for the holder. And now we're just going to put it on here and we're going to trace it out. All right, now I'll take it out to the bandsaw and we'll cut this off Then we'll take it to the scroll saw and scroll it out. All right, everybody, we're back. Now that we've got all the scroll saw work done on these, now I want to do the layout so that way I know how big to make the base. Now, I like using relative dimensioning because, well, quite frankly, I don't have any plans. And instead of trying to do like a lot of folks do and draw stuff up in SketchUp, this is just a small project. So what I want to do is just lay out my pieces here in approximately the space that I want them to be in. I'll put my pins on here and you get a sneak peek of what it's going to look like when it's all finished. And I've already decided that I wanted approximately one inch from the edge. So I can put that at one inch and then make a mark. Then I came over here And I moved it to where I liked it as far as the spacing on here. So there's no real spacing particular in between. I just decided to make it approximately that because I liked it. And then I make a mark. So now I'm going to take it off. And I'm going to use my Incra. And I'm going to... Transfer that line all the way across. Whoops. That didn't look very good. That is where I want them to be. So now I want to be a one inch overhang. So make a mark. And this is going to be my cut line. Now, after I get done doing that, I'm going to also go through and I'm going to sand these on the spindle sander, get things rounded off, and then I'll also start working on the base. I will probably try to make, make it rounded off and make it look nice as well, but we'll see how that goes when I get there.
All right, now that I've got everything cleaned up, sanded, and ready to go, I want to put my logo in the middle of the stand here. So I'm going to do that with my X tool. All right, now the laser engraver is done. The thing is looking really good. I like my logo. So now it's time to put on the stands. So I've already stated that I wanted the stands to be approximately one inch from the edge. So I can measure out one inch from the edge. And I'm going to put some tape on here. I'm going to do this for two reasons. One is because it gives me the opportunity to have these be able to put them back into place when I go to glue them. Plus, when I go to glue them, it'll also allow me to help out with squeeze out. Okay. Now we can do the second side. Now, I don't have a way to really weigh these down. However, these things are only going to be holding up pins. So it's not like that they're really going to be get jostled around or anything of the sort. So they're on there. Now I'll have to wait for them to dry. And when I get to come back, I'll put the finish on. And then there'll be the final reveal. All right. The glue has had enough time to dry now. So now we're going to take the tape off clean up any glue squeeze out, and then put finish on it. Today I'm going to be using Danish oil and dark walnut. I'll come back a little bit and wipe off the excess. Alright everybody, the project is now complete and is looking awesome. It was a quick project, but it was still a lot of fun to make. If you believe that I've earned it, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for more videos like it, click on this video over here to take you to see other projects that I've done. And if you're looking to know more about Jesus, then click on this video up here. I'll see y'all again next time in the workshop.